everybody, welcome to Prepper Junkie. Today we're just going to do a really quick overview and review of these two magazines here. This is the Glock OEM uh, for the Glock 19 and this is EP Mag from Magpul. I just wanted to go over um, some differences here if you're looking to purchase either one um, so you, you know what they are. Um, so uh, starting here, let's flip them on the back here. So this is Glock OEM and this is obviously the PMAG. On the back here, uh, very clearly you can see the round indicator here, which is really nice. Um, so when you're loading or, or whatever, you can see how many rounds you have left. And obviously you do not have that with the PMAG. Um, however, it does have on either side a 15 round indicator right there. Other than that, you just have to count how many rounds you're putting in. Um, hopefully this is pretty clear here. Um, on the base plate here, you can see how thick this PMAG base plate is compared to the Glock OEM. Um, that's quite a sizable difference there. And also, if you you can obviously, I'm sure, see this, but um, there has a slight reflection um, shininess to it. It's because inside there's a sleeve of metal um, to reinforce the inside of the magazine, and it also comes up to the to the lips here. Let's see if I can get the camera to show you this clearly. Um, so the lips are actually made of metal. Right there. The P Mag is all like like their um, air magazines, uh, which I have loads of from P Mag uh, from Magpul. Um, they're all polymer. Uh, there is no metal reinforced. So the OEM Glock Mag does feel actually. Um, heavier it actually is heavier because of that um, and I think because of that it, it makes it feel like it's it's better built just because that's a slight more weight to it compared to the the P mag obviously in here you have the orange um, indicator here so you know the nice thing with this is you know if the lock, if the slide locks back you know you can look in and see this then you you're about 99.9% .9 sure that it's just an empty magazine and not a malfunction of some kind <clears throat> but always double check um, on the bottom here of the PMAG, you'll see these nice little dots here, kind of like grooves in it. Um, they're actually uh, for writing the number of your magazine, so a lot of people like to number their magazines. Um, just so if they have continuous issues with one of them, they can look at the number, and if it's the same one, they know they you know can discard it or whatever, or fix it. Um, also, uh, with the base plate, it's a lot easier to take these off than it is the um, OEM Glock OEMs. Um, on the bottom here, it looks like that's like almost like an Allen key insert, but it's actually not. The whole, this whole thing is actually, uh, you can push it in with a, with a round or I don't know if you want, um, and it will easily slide the base plate off. The base plate comes off and then inside with, on the spring is another uh, plastic piece attached to the bottom, um, like in this. But this, because it's attached to the spring, it won't fly off, um, which is kind of nice. And... Let's have a look here on the bottom of the Glock one. So obviously you can see the Glock logo um, and the little push in here. It's a little harder to get this one out um, than it is the P Mag. Um, so as I said, you know, with these, this the, the P Mag is half the price of the OEM um, magazine. On my initial impressions, um, I prefer the Glock OEM. Um, just because it has a smaller base plate, it has the biggest thing for me is actually this round count on the back, and the fact that um, I, I, you know, I think it's just a, a cool feature. I have no doubt that P Mags will do an awesome job. <clears throat> Excuse me, because Magpul makes great products, and um, I mean, I have no hesitation about using these. Um, I just like the features a little better on the Glock OEM, but, but yeah. All right, so I think I covered everything I wanted to go over with everybody. Um, if you have any questions, you know. Uh, and please ask them below if I can help you. I will, as always. And other than that, folks, uh, thanks for watching along. Have a great one.